Welcome back to The Watchman. We are wrapping up from here in Washington, D.C. Folks, as we told you earlier in the show, this is still where things get done. Important legislation that affects Israel's security, America's security, and your security. The Iran deal, the Taylor Force Act, the Anti-Semitism Awareness Act. These are very important initiatives, and we need to have a voice here. If you're a follower of Jesus, you need to have a voice here in Washington, D.C. When this legislation is being debated and discussed, we will have a seat at the table. We are the world's largest pro-Israel organization, over 4.1 million members strong, growing every day, making our voices heard in Jerusalem and right here in Washington, D.C. when it comes to strengthening that U.S. Israel relationship. I'm here in D.C. now. We'll be back here on next week's show as well, but I want you to come here to the nation's capital, July 23rd and 24th for our Kufi Washington Summit. This will be an amazing event, folks, featuring top officials from the Trump administration, from the Israeli government, some of the top minds when it comes to the Middle East and what it all means. They'll all be gathering at the Washington Convention Center here in DC for our Kufi Summit. I'll be there, your humble host, along with the one and only Pastor John Hagee, our founder and chairman of Christians United for Israel. This will be an unforgettable event. Again, folks, we need to put our faith into action and make our voices heard. We are 4.1 million members strong. We're growing every day. This is a mighty movement of God. The Book of Romans says that if God is for us, who can stand against us? Folks, I can assure you, God Almighty, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is with this holy cause. So we'll be back here in Washington, D.C. next week. But until then, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace.